Well, let's imagine you had a sketch plan of a design idea and you wanted to turn it into a garden CAD drawing. The first thing I've done is place the sketch plan as a raster image behind the garden CAD drawing environment. That, of course, is done by Draw, Insert Raster. I'll pick New and browse to where you've stored your sketch plan. You obviously need to scan it. and You pick it and open it up, select Insert and just draw a box and in will go your idea. We don't need that now because we already have it in here. The next thing I did is to create a layer. I, I went Layers and Layer Dialog and I made a new layer called Rock Layout and I made the colour of that layer red. The reason for that is, is when I want to start putting some circles in, um, I'll remove the circles that I've already placed in here and, you'll, and I'll erase those. Let's place some circles here. We only have to draw half of this of course because it's symmetrical. So it's a draw, circle, centre radius and I'll centre on the dot that's in the hand sketch there and just pull out and I'll centre the circle or put the circumference of the circle roughly in line with where the centre line if you like of the rocks that are going to go into position. Now I'll place another circle but before I do that I'll turn O snap to centre so that when I pick draw circle again, I, if I move to the circumference of the first circle, you'll see that blue dot appearing in the centre. What that means is that the next circle is centred exactly at the same centre point as the previous one. So in it goes. Right click, repeat circle, find the centre again, come out to there, right click, repeat the circle, find the centre again and get that inner circle there. You I'm just you just might want to repeat the circle, find the centre. You might want to put another circle through there to give you some guidance for spacing of the central bit. You can see how precise Garden Cat is and the hand sketch is just a little bit off, but <coughs> we're not here to be critical of hand sketches. So now we have a series of circles overlaying it and we can start laying out our rocks and other particular entities but as I said we only need to draw the left hand side here and then we can just mirror it to the right. I haven't thought too much about how we would go from this point but thought you might like to see it at this stage. What we will do when we finish is in fact before we put our rocks down we will adjust the radii of these circles so that your construction team can set them accurately. If we take that outer circle, right click and go to properties, you'll see the radius is 41.23. We want that to be a whole number, 40 or, or whatever, for 40 metre, that's an 80 metre radius, but we can scale it up or down, but we do need to change these so that they are whole numbers. You, you want your construction team to be able to drive a stake in there and just take a piece of string to mark out each one of these circles and they don't want to be fiddling with numbers like 41.23. So that's the first stage of transferring this drawing into a go.